Okay, hello. I want you to show you how to um, download ground motions from the peer uh, database. So after you log in uh, into the uh, web page with your uh, account, and you come to this page, and this gives you two options: uh, whether you use the NG REST to a database or NG East uh, database. And since we are at West Coast, um, assume um, most of you will practice in uh, California, so this NG West is where you want to go. But like if you get a East Coast project, if you're working on uh, 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 East Coast like a tectonic or uh, uh, geological setting, you want to uh, use NGA East. But now we use NGA West. So after you click on that, um, you uh, you first of all you uh, the first the very very first thing to do is to select select your uh, uh, target spectrums. So you come to have like a three choices. Um, rather like actually four choices so uh, you know you, you uh, uh, no scaling is pretty much is is, is you can select a anything you want uh, pretty much it's just like you know a, a plain database for you to look at but the other three uh, is is kind of like you know uh, you start to set up our spectrums so um, the ASE code spectrums is uh, where like the IBC examples that we have done uh, we will try that and the user defined spectrum is like you know you have your own spectrums uh, then you can you can you can do that and this peer and JOS2 spectrums are the deterministic, deterministic method all those like uh, uh, ground uh, motion predictive uh, equations and also those like uh, uh, next generations and uh, annotate uh, attenuations uh, uh, models uh, those are the the choice for you to to use so now uh, let's look at the ASCE code uh, spectrums together once you click on this now you input the parameters that uh, that you you need uh, for examples uh, in the very last class uh, last examples we have done together um, we have this uh, Results. So we have um, the SDS equals to 1.2. We have the SD1 equals to 0 0.737. And TL, which is the long period, to be 2. So if we submit uh, this, all these values, then you would generate a spectrums. Uh, same as the one that we we just uh, manually uh, calculate. So this is the ASCE or IBC uh, code base uh, design spec the target or design spectrums. So you can change this to uh, to 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 linear scale or go back to semi log scale. Um, so after we have our target spectrums, then we can. Um, start to search record or we can download the spectrums if we, if we want uh, or we can start uh, searching our uh, earthquake uh, records that's what, what, we want, what we want to do and we so this page is uh, for you to work on uh, selecting uh, ground motions uh, so here uh, you can specific uh, earthquake ev event names if you want to you know use the uh, for example use the uh, um, the Northridge earthquakes. You want to use the uh, last year, uh, which requests uh, earthquakes uh, in California, or you can you can use the uh, uh, the ninety nine uh, Turkey uh, Kojali earthquakes. You know uh, you can specify over there, and if you want to speci uh, specify of uh, 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 very specific specific um, earthquake uh, the fourth type, you can put in there too. Or you, or you want to like you know specify the earthquake magnitudes uh, of the earthquake ground motions uh, record. For example, if I uh, select uh, earthquake from seven to eight uh, earthquake magnitudes, then like all the records that you you, you, you generate or you you know you find you search for you only are those uh, magnitudes between seven and eight. So you have the capability to do that. Uh, you can also so this is kind of like you know earthquake parameters and here uh, I 
you limit like the the number of record that you want to find. Otherwise, you know, you uh, you, you you can have a lot. Uh, for example, this one maybe I just select uh, seven of the ground motions. Um, and here, you know, the damping ratios is five percent. Pretty much is set by the uh, uh, ASCE code and I IBC code. And also, uh, if you want to have any like a scaling effects, you can you can do that too. But here I choose uh, uh, no scaling. So scaling means like uh, uh, you like a series and time history of uh, of uh, earthquakes. Uh, you will you will like uh, multiply uh, by factors until it match the uh, the your target spectrum well. So that's the scaling effect. Oh, actually, we can try both. So, so like that be the first times. Let's try it's like uh, there's no scaling. And then we can uh, search the records. So this this is this is um, so this is the uh, the seven earthquake uh, events that you select for us. And uh, here, like like you know, you showed you the mean and also plus one uh, standard deviations uh, on how the uh, uh, the response spectrums look like, uh, averaging all the uh, earthquake ground motions. So this is this is this is how how we how it returns, and uh, we can try to do this again. Um, if we try to like you know use some scaling effects, so that's like a different like a scaling method that you can choose, and then like uh, we can search the results again. So now you see that after the scaling up high, uh, so they have like you know changed the amplitudes. Uh, of the earthquake ground motions to a point that uh, now you're fitting your target uh, spectrums uh, very well. So that's, that's what the scaling effect means. And here, so now here you have all the um, all the ground motions and then uh, you have also have a Google map uh, to tell you where's the uh, location at. So all the events that uh, is Slack for you, I believe is uh, from West Coast. Uh, where predominantly maybe from California, uh, so uh, Imperial Valley, uh, Southern California, all these those uh, San San Fernando, pretty much all of them are from um, from California. And then now uh, you can download your record by clicking these buttons. And then I save it on my uh, desktop, uh, and I open the folder. So this is what what we have found. Uh, I don't know if we have done no, and you realize that uh, there's a lot of different files. But uh, what what it means here? If you if you uh, first of all if you open the search um, uh, spare sheet, so that's a summary spare sheet. So this is they start with a summary summary spare sheet here. So if you open the summary spare sheet. It's not this one. I think this is the previous one. The previous one I was working on. So make sure I close all the files. So if you open this one, so this this time is correct. So those are the seven records that we have. So this gives you a summary on uh, the se seven uh, of group one motions. And um, if you look at the end. It tells you for each earthquake events because we uh, allows to have seven uh, earthquake events, but each earthquake uh, record. Remember, uh, remember we talk about this uh, in the beginning of class of this lecture. Uh, how those earthquake ground motions are recorded. Uh, it uh, the inmost instrumentations is have uh, three geophones or three accelerometers. Which means uh, they're recording uh, ground motions in three directions, two horizontals and one vertical. So it's, it's being shown here. So you have two horizontals and one verticals. And those are the file names. So let's open one file uh, for examples. Um, let's look at the uh, this earthquake events, uh, empirical values, uh, uh, 
where we call it number two. Wow, well, just date back to 1940s. Um, and uh, let's look at the horizontal com uh, component, particularly this uh, files. So we know, like, you know, those are the file names. So those two are the horizontals and one vertical. So let's look at the horizontal. So this uh, ELC 180, the empiricals uh, ELC 180. So if we go back to our files, um, the ELC 180, which is this one. And this is uh, under, for, uh, actually like for this file name, we have three files because uh, this AT2 stands for the acceleration time history and the DT2 stands for displacements and the, this is the velocity. So which means this is the one that we're looking at because we want to find uh, plot the acceleration time history. So if we open this, so this is a text file uh, so this is the header telling you like you know where's the earthquake stations and uh, which earthquake is it uh, and it tells you this is uh, all the uh, data here is in terms of the gravities so in the unit of g of g and it tells you you have like a five and five thousand three hundred five thousand three hundred seventy two data points they record and between data point and data point. So this is how the accelerometers or the geophones readings is pretty much just like every point one seconds you with uh, one readings. So you know this is like time zero uh, accelerations. This is time uh, of 0 0.01 uh, accelerations. This is a uh, time of uh, 0.02 accelerations uh, so forth and so on. So you either you know, if you want to plot out the acceleration uh, time history, you can grab all of this and then like, you know, uh, set up a time scale in Excel and then make this to become like, you know, uh, uh, a, a time step of a uh, point zero one. So you have a uh, one column for time and one column for acceleration. So you can plot out the acceleration time history. Um, and be, be careful. Uh, it's not all the uh, geophones or, or acceler accelerations. I have a, uh, uh, sorry, geophones and accelerometers have the standardized uh, time steps. You may find some of them is 0 0.05 second separations. Some of them may be 0 0.02. So uh, be careful uh, each time when you open a file, really like, you know, read about, you know, what, what is it uh, indicating. So uh, that's one way you can process this data directly on Excel. And another option, in effect, is, um, to use uh, the software that we talk about.